Come January 1st, Norwalk can issue blight citations to residents. Tuesday, the Common Council unanimously adopted the city's first-ever blight ordinance to target some of the city's most unattractive buildings. The 1% of the 1% of the buildings that were truly heinous. Blight can be boarded windows, rotting walls, or abandoned cars. Council members noted it's a good start for Norwalk, with room for improvement. We're going, we're taking a short step, a small step, in what I think is a very good direction. I hope the ordinance committee goes back to this ordinance and tries to tighten it up. As we go on, as the years go on, we'll figure out what's good about it, what's easily easily enforced. This ordinance is, very, is a very good start. Um, however, we do have some shortcomings with that. Many agreed one of those shortcomings is the fact that the ordinance only targets residential buildings and not commercial buildings. The complaints I get from constituents repeatedly are about commercial properties. I think there's a lot of commercial properties throughout the city that needs to be looked at and taken care of. According to the ordinance, a property owner will receive a written warning giving them a time period to fix the housing blight. If that doesn't happen, a citation will be issued, fining the owner $100 every day the violation continues. This is a good first step. Tuesday, the council also okayed a related ordinance that requires landlords not living in their property to register their living addresses so they can be contacted regarding any housing blights. Both ordinances take effect January 1st. Mike Peel, it's relevant.com.